that is it is transient response of rc rl and rlc series circuits it's a basic electronic circuit uh, we just find out how the circuit behaves when we connect r and c in series and rl in series and rlc components in series in the first case we are going to perform r and c a combination when we connect r in series to c and we apply dc voltage across the component then how it behaves and how much time it takes for charging that we are going to perform in this circuit this is this circuit circuit has got inbuilt power supply this is a mains on switch power, mains on switch once you switch on the, my indicator glows and then this is the fuse for protecting my dc output voltage this is my dc output voltage terminal 5 volt 1 ampere and then to perform this experiment we need to have one digital storage oscilloscope anything of 50 megahertz or 100 megahertz so as per the circuit i am going to apply 5 volt to my dc source here i connect across to my source black to black and red to red and then here we do have three different values of the resistors and all resistor values have been indicated in the manual the first resistor value is of 1k and this is capacitance of 1000 microfarad and then in the first case i am going to connect 1k in series to my 1000 microfarad and i need to find out the response time of a capacitor and then to find out the transient response in between i have used one select toggle switch so that once i switch on the toggle switch then only my circuit voltage goes to my resistor and then this switch has got a center off first off and then switch on this has got three positions and then say from here positive to positive negative to negative and then to have a jumper you can use any one of these resistors in the first case i am connecting to the top resistor that is of 1k i have connected one digital storage oscilloscope across my capacitance and then this is my digital storage oscilloscope uh, approximately i will try to give you the voltage ratio and then uh, time division uh, uh, the values so that you need not rotate uh, for to get the values and then you need to set the voltage selector at 1 volt and let the time be around 1 second it can be 1 second or 500 millisecond and then the voltage should be 1 because uh, my input dc is of 5 volts i need to measure 5 divisions here 1 2 3 4 5 so that it can cover my display if i use a 2 volt then it will be only two end of divisions and if I use 500 millivolt, it will cross beyond my screen. So for that reason, the, my voltage selection should be 1 volt and the time selection should be 1 second. So I'll apply my circuit. Once I switch on this, this is off and then I'll switch on the supply. And then my transient response could be viewed in my oscilloscope. And then after reaching, I'll stop my mode uh, this is my straight line once i switched on i applied 5 volts it gradually increased up to 5 volt 1 2 3 4 and 5 to find out the transient response there is a formula time constant is required to raise to 63.2 percent of 5 volt it is approximately 3.16 volt to find out the transient response we have a formula at the same time we can find out the values by using the cursors so in the first cursor i will use my starting point this is my cursor a this cursor b this cursor a by rotating this i can shift it to the starting point of my wave this is my starting point and this cursor second cursor should be at 3.16 volt this is one division two division and three division this i will change again to cursor b slowly changes to 3.16 
here you can see all the parameters here this you can compare it with your practical values so in this case we have taken the first resistor the value is 1k and 1000 microfarad the second case third case you can use the second resistor and the third resistor it is of 2k and this could be 3.3k like that you can uh, perform uh, the experiment in a similar way now we will move on to rl combination now we are going to perform a combination of r and l so same circuit except for c we have connected one coil l here l value is of 800 milli henry so what will happen if you give dc supply to a choke say so in capacitor what happened it the transient response we could see in the uh, dso what will happen when you apply dc voltage to the coil it blocks your dc that is what we are going to see now say again i have applied a, a 5 volt supply across to my circuit and then i have used the first resistor i have used this jumper to take the first resistor and then resistor another end to coil coil another end to negative so r and l is being connected in series so in a similar way here also you will find the selector switch center middle off and then switch on there is a dso should be the voltage division should be at 1 volt again here and then time also and then one second let this cycle be over again it will start here then i'll switch on this supply yeah now i'll switch on see again what happened here was you could see a surge here raised up to 5 volts and then dropped but some transient would have happened that we need to enlarge and then see say for to enlarge this you need to change your time division the enlarged view of uh, the circuit which when i applied the 5 volt to the circuit so we will take the starting point this by using a cursor and again here also we need to take at 3.16 volt this cursor b this so we need to 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 in earlier case it was 1.02 seconds for rc combination here when we have connected r and l in series it is it took only 250.0 microsecond in rl we have done we have taken r1 as a as combination r1 and l later on we can do with r2 and r3 to get different values now we will move over to r l c circuit in this case r and l had been fixed and then here you do have a c of 1000 microfarad again this r values and l values are been given in our manual so in this case also i have connected a voltage across to my voltage to source terminals and then this is the jumper to use any one of the values in this case also i am going to use r1 and rl1 and then i uh, see dso is been connected across my c in this case also the voltage ratio voltage division should be at 1 and the time division should be at 1 second so i'll switch on this It's off now i'll switch on 
We will enlarge this portion. To bring it into the middle, you need to use this position control. We can even enlarge this wave also. Yeah, this is more convenient. And then this we will slowly shift so that my cursor A need not be shifted. I will bring it closer to my cursor. This is my cursor starting point I have shifted. In this case also I need to measure time constant at 63.2 percent that is 3.16 volt. I will press this cursor B switch over to change it to 3.16. This is 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt. Two, three. So here you could see the time. It took one one six point zero millisecond. Say for RC combination it took one point zero second, and for RL combination it took two fifty microsecond. And for RLC it is one one six milliseconds. So these values can be cross checked by doing calculations. Formulas have been mentioned in the manual.